What's up, friends of a good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the Aries right here with Lockdown in the middle and Corrosion Boom Boy Wasp on the outer sides, as you see right here, with decent damage per hit and the Corrosion damage on top. And we have two of these same Aries. The only difference is Shredder versus Halo on them. Let's see which one works better, too. And of course, no last stand since that would be easy mode. Let's jump into Free for All, test it there, and then also test it on Beacon Rush uh, a few moments later, okay? I want to find out together with you guys how valuable or viable corrosion is in the game right now okay battle begins that's good oh and it is a long range map that's actually a pretty decent start and um so let's get get going here i think this is also a really good spot to start with because it's uh it, it gives me a lot of cover here in the little uh that's an invader okay i'm activating quantum radar here because i know this guy's gonna stealth jump okay this guy's gonna shoot this guy is coming in right now. Okay, this guy's not gonna let me get him. But we can hit this guy really hard with a built-in weapons. Oh, and we have a uh, last stand on this guy, and now we can whoop him. Rupsa! There you go, sir. Okay. Here comes the next Ares, or basically the, the dude from before is coming now. And uh, that would be an Aochun flying up. Okay. Maybe we can... Whoa, that's my kill, dude. Awesome. I absolutely stole that kill from him, man. Boom, boom, boom. And you see the big chunks of damage when the thing hits. Okay. He's got he's got me outranged a little bit with the one weapon, but not with the other. Come on, lockdown. Oh, unfortunately, that didn't happen. Oh, he's bringing up his shield now. Interesting. Okay, I need to get myself back in safety. But the problem is, whoa. Yeah, we are quite out <laughs> out angled right here. I think that's a, a good way to put it. We were out angled. Maybe we can lock him. Of course not. No, why is this guy never getting locked? Now he gets locked, but it's way too late for the lockdown here. I needed that lockdown a little bit sooner. Okay, quantum radar active because I know he's gonna quantum uh, fly now. And if we could get this guy locked. I don't know why, but I'm so rarely getting the guys locked. That's crazy. Boom, nice. Alright, maybe it's because I'm fi firing at such long distances with Shredder and Halo, but you see these, these, these out chuns and stuff, they just don't get locked down. Uh, it's crazy. So he's out of range now. He's got exactly 500 and I've got 600 with the wasp cannons and I've got uh, 500 with the lockdown weapons. Mm, okay, he's flying up now. He wants to go for a kill. Maybe I can kill Steel. Although I don't have line of sight. I don't think it's gonna happen. Nope. They were both going for this one guy. Mm, this one invader, he got attacked by both Auchuns. This guy had a really, really bad time right there. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can come in and lock. That would be really uh, the thing that we need to do. And he is locked. Yep. And now we're firing with a built-in weapons too. To make sure this guy... Oh, okay. And he's quantum uh, flying now. Come on. Why? How? How is this possible? The, the cannons never hit. Did you see that? During the flight, the cannons missed all the time. The cannons missed. They never hit. That's weird. Okay, he wants to land in safety. That's exactly what he's gonna do. Or what he's trying to do. And he also manages to do that, unfortunately. So we have this guy right there. Cannon shooting, cannons, cannons. The wasp is hitting. No, this guy's cut last stand, right? Cannon fire. Oh my goodness, okay. Quantum radar again. Yo, what is going on with the can- Dude, the cannons, they just don't never- They never hit. The cannons don't hit anybody who's flying in the air. No matter what, when they fly, the cannons can't hit them. That's interesting. And a little bit unexpected. I didn't think that that was uh, gonna be the case. Okay, we have the shielding still. I'm, he's trying to make me use my shield a little bit earlier here. And I'm trying not to have that happen. He's gonna fly now. Quantum radar. 
Okay, come on. Oh, come on. And there is his flight. Oh my god, dude. It's the it's the freaking thing that he had. It's the last stand that survived that made him survive the damage output. Okay. Wow, where are you landing, dude? Okay, here we go. And... Yo, he also stealth jumped. Oh no, I need to get in cover. Woo! Okay, I'm making the, the sound a little bit quieter here. Okay, I got this kill too. See, this is actually a really interesting setup, and as you see, we are not running last stand right here. I don't think this robot needs last stand at all. Okay, we have an Ares coming up. Okay, he's also trying to corner shoot us. All right. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to uh, to win this fight because I I'm relatively certain this Ares will have last stand. Okay. Okay, I can corner shoot. Okay, here we go. So he wants to walk away from us now, which is very uh, normal for this guy to try and do this. And then we have last stand on him here. Once the last stand is gone, yeah, we were able to win, even though he had last stand and we and and he we didn't. Wow, we absolutely outplayed this dude right there. Okay, he's gonna try and suppress me. I'm gonna try and lock him if possible, and it worked, and that means he's gonna be dead. It's so crazy, dude. Okay, and he's gonna probably kill us now. Yeah, because the cannon was reloading. The cannon was reloading. Did you see that? I would have killed him now, but my cannon was in a reload state. But now it's done. Boom. <laughs> nice. And he's running the shield. Okay. And he stays behind cover now. I'm hitting him a little bit and I'm giving him a, a, a bit of uh, additional dam corrosion damage right there. Okay, I'm trying to not use my shield for as long as possible. And then use the shield when I really want it. Okay, here we go. Both of us having the shield running. I'm playing very conservative with my shieldings, by the way, when I play this, uh, play Ares. I usually don't play, use a shield. Are you ever doing something other than just corner shooting there, or is that really what you're gonna do for the rest of the match? Okay, he's getting me and being attacked from behind. Did you see this guy? How, what an unlimited amount of patience. <laughs> it's, this, this is not, I can't play this patiently, man. He's literally sitting there corner shooting for like, I don't know, three minutes or two minutes or so. He's never doing anything other than that. Alright, he's gonna heal, he's gonna have his resistance, and he's gonna find cover from the Aochun. That should mean that the Aochun is not gonna be able to kill that Mender immediately. Because there's a, a cover armor plating, if I remember if I remember correctly, yeah. Okay, we're running. Okay, I'm trying to be the one who gets the kill, and there he is. Now I'm bringing up the shield, and it's easy winning time, obviously, here. What is this guy gonna do? Nothing. Let's see Ares, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, I wonder really how good these cannons are. The Wasp, right? It's a weapon you never see on anyone's uh, setups. The reason is you only have five shots. These five shots are not even very convincing. The corrosion is like absolute non-existent. So the weapon is really the, the exact opposite of anything that you would want to run, right? 5,000 or something, not even 5,000 damage, like 4,700. An Exodus rocket does the same damage or something uh, similar to that. Uh, and, and, and that at 600 meters range is not, not bad, but it doesn't even hit moving targets in the air, apparently. The da damage over time is a joke. It's a complete ridiculous 
joke. This thing is an absolutely worthless piece of crap. <laughs> Sorry, guys, Pixonic. You need to buff that corrosion and uh, and give this thing eight shots or something like this. The five shots it has, or six or five, it's it's ridiculous. For the five seconds of reload, no way, man. And and then these uh, the damage per hit isn't even big. I, I think a ballista may even be able to out damage this weapon. I'm not sure, but uh, it's probably not far away from it. And the ballista is a pure sniper, right? And, um, yeah, so this is actually a new weapon in the game. Let's go into Beacon Rush. Uh, the Ballista, uh, the, the, uh, the, what's it called? Uh, the Wasp is a new weapon. And normally new weapons are pretty good, right? This one here is really, really, really sucky. And, uh, I think it needs at least eight shots in the drum. Wow, thanks, War Robots. I love when that happens. It, it just keeps happening to me recently that either when I join or when I load back or even in just in between, like, boop, game kills itself. Annoying. Um, but yeah, so let's get back into it. Thankfully, it only work. It happens once. It never happened twice in a row. It's like when it happened once, it will not happen in the next try. For somehow, this, this deactivates the possibility. But yeah, so normally new weapons are really good, right? <laughs> not Wasp. And also not uh, the, uh, what's the other one called? Mm, Sting. The light version, Sting. We don't have a heavy, cor oh yeah, we do have Viper. Viper is actually a good one. V Viper is actually a decent weapon. Uh, it's Beacon Rush. I'm first gonna use the Strider just to get to um, to a, a position really quickly. Try and go for for a good spot right there. Come on, you and me, dude. We're gonna make that happen. M M O N S. That's right, man. You and me. We're gonna make it happen. Look at this dude. Uh, I think you know what? I think that this other dude has decided to go for a different approach because we were all ready. So he's locked. He's not gonna get us here. This guy's gonna use stealth, and I'm just gonna wait around the corner after I locked him down. Now he's losing five seconds of his precious stealth time, and uh, now the Haichi comes around the corner, gets completely flattened, and then we take you out, sir. Uh, although, wait a minute, now that he's locked... Ah, okay. Someone else spawned here. If no one had spawned here, I could have tried... Uh-oh. Yo, I got this guy locked, so he can't jump on me. Look how much chaos I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, man. I'm doing so much chaos. He even jumped. This guy even just made his jump there. So now they have all used their abilities and their jumps and their all whatnot. Okay, here goes the... Uh, the this guy. And now this guy's gonna try and jump. He messed up his jump, though. I think he just tried to jump. The same, the next guy also messed up his jump and kind of landed right in front of me here. Okay, and I'm gonna try and walk in here so that they would, so they don't get my beacon here. That's my, my concern at this point, is that they don't get the beacon. Oh boy. Yeah, without last stand, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> okay, again, next one. Boom. Here we go. If this guy would lock, get locked... Oh, we meet, need to make this guy use his thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now that's gonna be bad. Although, it's just a Tulumba Spectre, that's okay. He doesn't really have that much damage output. How long it takes me just to get the right target, dude. Look how much action we have! Beacon Rush is such an awesome game mode, man. I love Beacon Rush so much. It's like constant fun. All the time, you're never gonna- you never stop having fun in this game mode, dude. Okay, come on, die already. And they're- both of them are waiting, like, around the corner. You see this, right? I've been just, uh, eliminating le left and right, and they were both waiting there around the corner. I think he may try to stealth jump in a sec. Maybe we could get him before? Nope. Nope, we didn't. Okay, let's get this guy. Then let's get this guy. And then once he drops out of stealth, hopefully we can get this guy. Uh, you know what? Now we're in trouble. Behind me is the next guy. And somebody also had Orkins, so they could splash us. Alright, so. Boom. Let's jump in with this thing. Oh, last stand. Okay. Uh, 
And then this dude. Okay, I think that's probably it now. Enemy dropping out, right? Lockdown ammo here, and since he's trying to re uh, to target us, he's trying to do the targeting system, and he's ca he's dead before he can even do anything. Jesus. <laughs> And boo! Back jump right before the match ended. So, what do you think about the Wasp, ladies and gentlemen? I think I may as well just go with two ECUs left and right, and I'm probably gonna be better off than using this piece of crap <laughs> weapon. I, I'm sorry, but I have to say it as clear as possible. This thing is absolutely not worth it at all. And this was a maxed Wasp level 12 Mark II and boosted and maximum damage modules and this thing barely does anything it misses flying targets completely for some reason and uh, and and then also even if it hits it deals a mediocre amount of damage the corrosion is a complete joke this thing needs to be looked at in my opinion and i hope nobody's getting mad at me for being so clear about this right i don't want to be insulting the creator of this weapon or anybody i'm just trying to be very clear this thing needs to be looked at if you guys want to see this weapon in the game and by people being used then this needs to be uh, more relevant right the corrosion is its selling point so the corrosion should be very useful in this case the corrosion is only making about 20% of the damage 80% of the initial physical hit like a cannon and then only 20% of that hit would be dealt in corrosion and the next thing is you can only stack so and so much corrosion so there is no point in running two wasps or four wasps. Four wasps would be completely insane. You hit once or twice and then you have reached the cap for corrosion um, that can tick on the enemy, right? And there's also no point going sting and wasp because once again, you only have one stack of corrosion and it can only reach so and so high and the stronger one will replace the weaker one, which is uh, sting. And that's a few things that you may or may not have known about the corrosion effect and it's a very, very unfavorable ver um, um, you know how it works sting should be its own corrosion wasp should have its own corrosion effect and viper too so that the combination out of all three weapons is possible and still viable so that this actually increases the amount of corrosion done on the enemy same as multiple weapons should add the uh, make a possible higher stack for corrosion and therefore you could actually reach a high amount of corrosion damage and increasing the corrosion in general would be useful as well uh, but that was just my feedback here on on the wasp on the wasp i think the only reason we made we, we made this setup work wor wor work is because a it's an aries and b we had the uh halo and the shredder on it and the built-in weapons of the Ares, obviously, right? This is why we made this work. It's not because of the Wasp cannons. Those things, they, you could have literally run anything else and it would have been better, no matter what you pick. Even freaking Molots would have done better, I'm pretty, I'm almost certain. <laughs> and that has to mean something, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but yeah, so uh, go with two ECU shields to the left and to the right. Let's do, let's do this. Hold on, where is it? There. Bam, one there. And <laughs> so that's that's actually a better bot, believe it or not. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with you guys. Are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off.